Okay, I love this one from Sadie in Colorado. She says, hi, Clark. How much should you stretch to buy a house? Does it ever make sense to build your first home? My fiance and I have lived in our small town in Colorado for about five years. And during that time, housing prices have more than doubled thanks to vacation homeowners, Airbnbs and remote workers. I am a teacher and he is a carpenter. So we make lo local wages that really cannot compete in the current market. Serious fixer uppers are selling in the high 300s. We had hoped that mortgage rates going up would bring prices down, but they have stayed steady. We currently share an affordable rental with another couple, and we have a decent down payment saved, but any houses we could put 20% down on would require a lot of work, and we would be quite stretched financially. Or we could build. My fiance has access to materials at cost, use of heavy machinery, etc., through the construction company he works for, and we could do much of the work ourselves. The odds are good that we would have an immediate we'd have immediate equity in a newly built home, but it feels risky. Your thoughts? Okay, so this is actually not risky as long as the two of you don't kill each other in the process. <laughs> but Sadie, I mean, this is something you see in more rural parts of America all the time. People who know construction, who can use heavy machinery. In this case, your husband's a carpenter. I mean. There's such savings opportunity, and it's going to take a while to build the home, obviously, because you'll be doing so much of the work yourself, but you can save a fortune this way. The good news, the cost of construction materials has come way down uh, from the time that there was a frenzy with supply chain disruptions and all of that, and so this is a true opportunity for both of you. Living in a rural area, you have the potential for a USDA loan. Um, that's right. The U.S. Department of Agriculture has a loan program for people in rural areas that's very favorable. And there's a lot of possibilities here. I will tell you that the home you build should be a standard plan, nothing custom. You want to? Uh, you can look online and you can look at home plans and you can buy them where they tell you exactly how many two by fours you need exactly every dimension that you're going to build and it is much much easier to do that than to try to do anything architect drawn custom built and i think you can pull this off you really have to know that that you wouldn't i, I wasn't kidding i didn't mean uh, literally kill each other. You got to know that the two of you have the temperament that you would be able to ride through this project together and have it be a joy instead of an agony for you. And I like it because uh, the sweat equity that you would do would give you, as you said, instant equity in the property. Let us know what happens, Sadie. Um, we want to see pictures of the home. Yes.